In my last video, I talked about how Squarespace SEO sometimes gets a bad rap. I don't think it should. I think it's user error. And last video, I showed you how to write and add in your SEO site description. Today, I want to show you how to do the same thing, but for blog posts. Blog posts are a great way to bring traffic to your website. If you are writing articles about something that people want to read about, that's going to bring them to your website but you have to optimize that post in order to actually get the traffic, right? So let's go to my blog up here. Where did it go? There it is. Okay. I will just go into this most recent post here. I'm going to click the little dots here and go into settings. So if you haven't already noticed in the settings of each blog post, there's an SEO tab. Um, I didn't think I had done this, but I did. Okay, great. <laughs> so you can actually write an SEO description. It's optional, but if you're going to blame Squarespace for SEO, don't because they're giving you all the tools. You just have to use them. Um, you can put in a description for each and every blog post. So I would recommend you do that. Um, in the other video, I showed you this tool where you can optimize the length of your descriptions. I don't always do that for my blog posts. Let's see what this one comes out to be. It's too long, which I suspected. I usually just take the first sentence or so. Um, let's see. Just take out that sentence. Let's just leave it at that. See if I add. Oh, see how just like two two letters in a period can can cut off your length there. So I will do that. Copy, paste. So now our SEO description is included. It, the length is optimized. You can see um, the example up here, like what it'll look like in search results, and then save. So you can do that for every single blog post on your website. A couple other tips for you. So a lot of SEO has to do with content and layout and links. So there's a lot of things that go into creating a good SEO score for your website um, and just pages in general. So are you using headers correctly? Are you linking correctly? Do you have links? Um, Let's see, how much content do you have? See all this content I have? I take the um, transcripts of my videos and I put the text in the blog post because if someone is searching for an answer, me just posting a video might not be helpful because Google doesn't know what is in my video. So I take all the text from my video and put it here. So if someone is looking for an answer that I cover in my video, it can be found in text and served up in search results. So again, um, Squarespace offers a lot of great tools for SEO. You just have to use them and know what makes good SEO in general. So those are my tips for if you're trying to boost your SEO um, blog posts. Definitely do the individual blog post descriptions. Um, optimize the length with this tool here. I will link it down below. And make sure your blog post has enough content. I believe it's like 700 words is like what they consider good for SEO. So lengthen those blog posts, get all the, the keywords in, um, give it some structure with headings and you will be on your way to improving your SEO. If you have any SEO questions for me that you want me to answer in future videos, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one.